Okay, we're back Joanne. with the second game here, and Joanne has started out with a strike in the first box. Nice way to begin a game. My, this is the shot that she was forced to make quite a few times yesterday. Oh. It's a slide shot. It's not the easiest one. Oh, you think you can cut it, mm -hmm. but it's got to be just at the right angle at the right moment, or, or that happens. Mm-hmm. But still a nine fill for nine fill on the strike is not a bad count. You can back up with the ten box. Right. You've got to hold the pins. If you fail the mark, you've got to get the tens. Joanne is also a Baltimore girl uh, from Maryland. She is an activities director at Fair Lanes East Point. And Fair Lanes being a rather large duck pin, ten pin organization. Oh down in the southern area. So she works at it besides mm -hmm. enjoying it. Right. <laughs> she is married and they, she and her husband Al are expecting a blessed event next month. Uh, They're going to be adopting a baby. Oh. So that is going to be the high point of her life, Wonderful. as she stated. Wonderful. I'm sure winning this game would come in a close second. <laughs> such a tremendous game, you know, it, it's what you would call a couple of come down boxes. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to keep that peak of drive and concentration through as many games as Mickey is going to have to bowl should she just yes. want to continue through. a spare or a strike to get the extra points needed to catch up with Joanne. Right at this point in the game, it's early. All right, big yeah. right and I think she's going to be... But you don't want to toil too far behind. No. I think she'll take a little bit more time on this shot, having missed it just a moment ago. No. The spare could be important. Right. And just <laughs> enough of it. Happy with that one. Right. Joanne is the statistician for the WNDA. She compiles all the scores mm. of all the bowlers, gets them together, sends them into the appropriate offices, oh. and makes sure that everyone is registered. And Ooh. It looks like another spare coming up. Joanne is 30 years old and has been bowling for 23 of those years. So she was, she was one of the early starters, the seven-year-old starters in the junior program. Good shot, right on competitor. I noticed she bowled that right from the right side of the alley. She didn't bowl cross the alley much. No, the girls have their own sense of where they know they have to put the ball down whether the ball breaks, whether it curves, backs up. They adjust usually their arm swing rather than their position on the lane. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Ooh. That was a tough fill, but it's a five count. Mm -hmm. This one looks difficult to make also. It is. You, whenever you take the head pin out of a split, mm. Probably as good a shot at that as you could make right. without actually making it. <clears throat> they don't take much time. Once they get up there, they're ready to bowl right away. That's it. They set themselves, they keep themselves set. Mm. Oh, that Wayne Jarzinski, you made it. You've been bowling good today, I understand. How do you feel about it? Do you feel psyched up for this? Now I am. It was a really tough division. It was went down to the last ball in the last frame of the last game. So it was really an exciting match. Well, that happens sometimes. But have you been bowling um, consistent for today? Do you feel that your average has maintained or what? I had a tough first game yesterday. I started out with a 91. 
and um, I haven't qualified for the PAT last year and since I won at Glastonbury two years ago. So I really felt good qualifying and I feel pretty confident right now. I feel good. How many games a week do you bowl? I bowl in three leagues, so it's about nine to ten games a week. I try to practice a the game. There was a lot of bowling for you know, the preliminaries here. Eight games yesterday. Is that a lot all at once, eight games? Well, it is, but I think you can um, train yourself to keep bowling. The more games I bowl, the more confident in all I feel. Very good. Wish you luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Joanne needs the strike here. And she knows that. Right. Yeah. Completely. If she spares and strikes out, she might have a chance if McGee were to really come down and get a five box or less. Oh, that's the ball she needed the strike to be. Sometimes you just try too hard. All right. Try to put a little bit more into the ball than you did before just to get that strike when you need it. Yeah. That's enough of it. She brings in the mark. Just enough of it. The best she could come out with would be a 157 if she strikes out now. Mickey's already shooting 151. Mm -hmm. So she needs to get this strike here. Oh, oh, that was a bad break. And when it just rocks down there and doesn't go over. I know. I've heard rumors they want to put round bottom pins in there, but <laughs> they won't allow that. <laughs> and that's one. That brings in one. Okay, Mickey needs to just finish out the box. She'll go on to meet her next competitor, which would be Karen Smith, also of Baltimore, Maryland. Just a oh, oh no, what a way to end the game. She's got her act together. Yeah, completely. <laughs> She could have let it go there, knowing that it was an easy win, but she didn't. No. You have to bowl every ball looking for a strike. Correct. The youth bowlers coming up today should take a lesson, go to the lanes when they know there's a tournament going on, and watch the determination or the concentration of the adults trying to get themselves ready to get into that type of bowling. Youth leagues are fun, and they try to teach the fundamentals. Oh, uh, so that's a clean pick. But there comes a time when you don't put the fun on the lanes. You take mm -hmm. it off the lane and put it in the back. Mm-hmm. No, that was not a bad uh oh shot, as she said. <laughs> Good game. She just came up with a 158. Okay. We're midway through here at the lanes, and I'd like to introduce Sandy Thomas, my color commentator. She knows all about these girls and about bowling. Sandy, how long have you been bowling? Uh, let's see, probably in the range of about 30 years. That long. <laughs> I started out with my brother and my uncle and my father, just going to the lanes for fun, for sport, mm -hmm. and evolved into the junior leagues and then into the adult leagues from there.